<laughs> After four emotional games that you guys have played, you're going into a game where human nature maybe sometimes can take over and they look at the opponent and look at their record. Do you have to do any different kind of additional coaching this week as far as getting them to respect the opponent? No, not at all. I mean, we know Virginia's a very good football team and they're, they're playing their best ball right now. Uh, our guys, I, I can tell you this, we prepared exactly the same as we did last week. I mean, our, their preparation out here, we just finished two-minute drill and uh, they were competing like crazy after it. So uh, I think uh, I think they've done a good job of preparing this week. Coach, as much as I'm sure you hate it, it was Matt Collins, you, your comments at your Monday press conference struck me as, you know, you've got enough depth and enough bodies to just to keep on plugging on again. No disrespect to Matt Collins. Oh, not at all. I mean, hell. I mean, I, I love Mac. I mean, love him to death. I mean, uh, and he's uh, been a great player for us. But we got we got a lot of season left. I mean, we can't just fold it up and shut it down because Mac Holland's in with us. I mean, so yeah, I, I feel confident in the guys that we're going to put out on the field. I mean, first of all, on special teams, we've had a lot of guys, the young guys that have gotten a lot of reps, and so they'll step in. They'll be much better than they were at the beginning of the year. And then uh, Prohl and Ratliff and those guys uh, that'll step up, they'll make plays for us. I mean, they have all year. Mac have been both return teams, right, both ways? Both return teams and kickoff and punt. Right. Did any of the players, I know you said you're going to need multiple players to kind of fill the role he did, but can any of them do more than just the one? I mean, the, the a guy that can kind of fill in and take more than one of those units? Well, the, the, the problem is, is that, you, you know, you don't have, I mean, whoever was backing him up at those positions will play, be the guy that goes. I mean, you're not going to. One guy hasn't in the is not backing him up on all four mm -hmm. spots, so we're not going to move a bunch of people around just to get the same guy in those spots. Right. So you, I mean, so it's just a matter of next bodies, guy up. bodies basically. Yeah, next guy's up. I mean, they, they know that. Is it just a fluke that you guys don't have a pick yet? Is, it, is that, <laughs> that going to come? <laughs> I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, I got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping it's going to come. I'd be, that'd be nice. Are you seeing things from secondary that? Uh, I mean, they were all over the ball. Uh, you know, this past Saturday. I mean, just, just didn't, you know, just didn't get one. But I mean, if you keep, if you're, if you're that close enough, something's going to happen eventually. And I mean, we got guys that can make them. We know that. Is that just one of those things that they come in bunches when you get them? And I you hope just so. Need one. I mean, I hope that... they come in bunches. I hope we get one, and then they just, just comes like crazy. You just kind of look at the film that these, you know, so far this season, just kind of be like, well, just we had, hard to explain it. <laughs> yeah, because we've had uh, some opportunities and uh, we just didn't make the play. And then, uh, you know, so we've been in a little drought and we're, we're looking forward to turning the corner right now. How's the uh, health of the offensive line? Do you have any concerns for the young guys coming out of the SUBA? No, I mean, the, the, the guys that we're putting on the field are healthy. I mean, they're ready to go. So we, uh, <laughs> We we I, I feel like they'll play well. I mean they're, they're they've had a great week of practice. They're prepared and, and they've uh, it's you know the way I look at it now I, I don't look at it we have young guys anymore. I mean we're into what our 12th week of the season. I mean four weeks of camp, you know, and now we're in the eighth week of uh, games. I mean that's more than a, a full season for most people. So I don't look at these guys that are young anymore. We don't have any more freshmen. I mean these guys they've been playing, they've been preparing. They're ready to go. What does UVA do defensively that is either uh, similar to the team you faced so far this year or dissimilar? Uh, we we haven't faced many teams that are that are a three down front. So they're they're a three down front the majority of the time. You know they'll get into a little bit in third downs, get into a four man front, but they're a, predominantly a, a fifty front, and uh, that's what uh, that's what he's been the whole time he was at BYU. Also, eighth game, six first year coach. That's fun. <laughs> How does that challenge your preparation? Yeah, you just, you know, we, we spend a lot of time looking at film that we probably don't need to look at just because we're trying to cover every base because there's a lot of unknown for us in a lot of situations. So, you know, we've looked at, uh, I mean, I've looked at probably eight games of BYU from the 15 season, you know, so on top of all the games that they played this year because sometimes you don't, you, you don't see the formations that you want to see, so you go back and find those formations from last year. But I mean, the way they're they're probably not as exotic right now at Virginia as they were at BYU, and that that's because they're in their first year. How much does it help that they played so many you guys have played? So at least you have something to compare uh, based on what you guys have gone up against. Yeah, it's still it's still more about you know you know playing similar offenses and defenses, you know. So that's that's the way you compare. 
you know, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't do us any good to look at, you know, when they've played, uh, say, at Georgia Tech, you know, uh, because that offense won't match up with what we do. So what they did defensively against them, against them won't be anything similar. Is Austin the one that would be most likely to see more of an uptick with with Mac as far as a receiver? But I mean, I know he's behind yeah, on the, right on the depth chart. Yeah, but he'll he'll play he'll play uh, extensively outside. He won't move inside at all. Okay. You know, so that means uh, Switz and and uh, Thomas Jackson will carry the load inside. Okay. Very good. All right. Looks like our turn.